Trump, 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 Trump. These fucking liberals. This is a liberal judge here in Houston trying to politicize the shit. When she got called out by the reporter, she want to change her tone and shit. Oh, well, I don't want to. I, well, I want to politicize it. No, no, bitch. You say to Trump fault, and when the reporter call you out on it, you want to be like, oh, well, we're not gonna politicize this, you know. But but Biden had a deal that Trump told him not to sign. So. We'll listen to this shit. This bitch is a piece of shit. More that they're being used as pawns in this fight over immigration that doesn't even exist because Biden and McConnell agree. It's just that Trump won't let him move it forward. All due respect, Judge, you said this yes. issue shouldn't be politicized, but this by pointing nice. the finger at former President Trump and Republicans in Congress, aren't you politicizing it? Um, I think I answered the, I think I answered the question. So, um, look how she looked down. Uh, oh shit. I wasn't expecting them to ask me that. Oh, uh, I think I answered the question. You politicized it. Call out Trump. Well, but Carlo and Biden had a deal. Okay. And nobody made a deal. Trump not in office. Trump all can tell them not to do it. It's up to the, up the people in the Senate to agree to it on their own without Trump just to go with the deal. But like I said, Biden doesn't need that deal. They keep gaslighting motherfuckers. They're like, well, Biden had a bipartisan deal that Trump will, will let them sign or agree with. Okay, outside of that. Okay, why did he get rid of state of Mexico policy? Why did he get rid of every goddamn border policy that Trump had? Why don't he just re go executive order and put him back in place? And fix the border. I, 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 I'm trying to get bipartisan deal. No, until you can get a pipe a bipartisan bill to your desk, you have executive order rights as the executive officer to close the federal borders. You can do that now. We don't need more legislation. We don't need no more bills passed. We got enough bills on the goddamn books now. We got enough laws on the books where you can do your goddamn job, close the border, deport people. Don't need nobody, no more laws, no more. We got enough laws in this country, enough bills and taxes and money. We got enough of that shit already. Do your job. Everybody. Otherwise, really, what's the point? You're not gonna do your job. What's the point of having federal government? What's the point of having government? If everybody, nobody's gonna do the job for the people. If they're gonna do their own thing, they're not gonna follow the rules and regulations, they're not gonna take up responsibility. Accountability, they're not gonna have no real leadership. What's the point of us having government? What what is the, what's the point nowadays? We're paying taxes on taxes on taxes. We pay for everybody else border overseas. We pay for all the illegals here. We pay for everybody, everything else, but the American people itself. We go to work, work every day, everything the tax to hell. Inflation is killing us. Another tax as well. What are we paying for? Why do we have the government if they can't solve? Simple problems when we have enough laws and shit on the books where they can do their goddamn job. What's the point of having government? What's the point of having federal government? What's the point? What are we paying for? What are we doing here, America? What are we doing? What are we paying for? Paying for illegals? Got no business in our country? We're paying for their housing, their health care, their food, their rights, and whatever they want. Well, us Americans. Down here below, barely making it with inflation and shit. Rent prices going up, food prices going up, gas prices going up. Every day in your life, day to day life going up in the price, but you're paying shit. So what are we paying for? What are we doing? What are we doing? Actually, Doctor, what are we truly doing for? And I said yesterday, what's the future of America? What's our future? What are we doing? What are we doing in America? How does not pissing off? Like, yo, something got. What are we doing here? I'm my. Every time I look, everything's going up. My pay not going up. I'm barely making it here. Barely struggling. Working two, three jobs and shit. But we got motherfuckers walking across the border, getting house, nice hotels. Every day paid for this shit on our dime, and I can barely got a roof on my head. Some people living out their cars. People losing their jobs and shit. What are we doing, America?
inflation killing us and shit. Our economy might crap. We might be at war. We could be a, people getting attacked by illegal immigrants. What are we doing? Like people sitting in the burning house. Oh, this is fine. Is this fine? We're American. This is America. We're American based in the burning house. And you saw the dog in the house? Oh, th that's fine. Everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Everything burning around you. And we just say, oh, it's all fine. Everything's good, guys. Yeah, while the birds out of the house burn down. While you sitting there thinking everything's fine. Everything lovely. Peachy. What are we doing, America? We're going to just ignore the issue? Well, somebody fix it. Oh, okay. it'll be okay. Like I said, we're not going to vote our way out of this to a point. Somebody, we go, <laughs> we're going to have to start asking that question sooner or later. Because when shit hit the fan, don't wait till the shit hit the fan. The time to answer that because it's going to be too late. Let's listen to her crazy ass answers. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's this is about Jocelyn. This is about her family. Now it's about and, Jocelyn. The, the uh, if, we, if we want to, Judge, as I said, talk about question. immigration. Thank you. Then, you didn't answer the question. Are you politicizing this? Yes, you are. By pointing the finger at Republicans and saying it's their fault, not the fault of the Biden administration that lifted the, the Remain in Mexico policies. Again, the Biden administration reached an agreement with Leader McConnell to address this, but this is not about immigration. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> you see how she looked? Uh, uh, Biden had a, they had an agreement, but we're not going to penalize this. That's been killing me. See when you you put a little pressure there. Uh, 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 well, he had an agreement with McConnell, uh, uh, but we're not gonna criticize this though. It's about Jocelyn, the girl. Why'd you bring it up then? You brought up Trump and Trump for for not even in office, got no power, no nothing, no control over shit right now. You can't even be straight up honest with the people. So dishonest. So much fear gaslighting from these people. They really think the people, you are stupid, America. They really think you are stupid, dumb, and worthless. To just be openly lying in your face. Now they just blatantly lying because they know you stupid enough to know don't care. They ain't even hiding it.